Hey guys, it's your boy String Bean Mount Bushcrafters Alliance, obviously out here in the shine shed. Yeah, that's where we are. Uh, I've done a paracord wrap on this knife. A file, essentially. But it's razor sharp. I mean razor sharp. I've done, I've done a hollow grind. coarse stone, then an oil stone, and then a leather strop. Bow was given to me to make me a knife. Bow was made in USA. It's a R. Hohen Company. 18, 20 something, 30 something to 1953, I believe 54 records on that company. But uh, nevertheless, I put thumb cleats or thumb grooves in the top of the blade. I put it in a vise and done a super tight paracord wrap. I like paracord wraps. A lot of people don't like them. Uh, I do. I could have easily done a handle for this. Didn't want a handle. I wanted something that I could throw around, beat around on, and not have to worry about it. This thing, obviously is a file, throws a super, super spark with a flint. And with a fair serum rod, fair rod. What I did to make this knife is just, you don't gotta have a forge, you don't gotta, all you gotta have is a grinder. Take you a file, Mark you out a profile of an eye. Uh, as you begin to grind, real easy. Don't put a whole lot of pressure on it. These are brittle. They'll heat up quick. Put a little water to it. Grind a while, put a little water to it. Grind a while, put a little water to it. When you get it to where you want it to be, you get the profile. Go ahead and sharpen it. That's a hollow grind. Go ahead and sharpen it however you want to sharpen it. If you want to bevel one side, flat on the other, that's the next knife I'm making, by the way. Uh, when you get it to where you want it, put it in the oven, 400, two hours. That'll harden that steel. It won't be brittle no more. And you can still work with it. You can still sharpen it when need be. Nevertheless, I'm going to tell you what I've done to this handle. I don't know if I've just stumbled across something. People may, may have tried it. And folks have. Really not liked the way it turned out or didn't want to talk about it or don't know about it or whatever the case may be. I know I like it. And I'm going to show you. This is a Danny Johnson. Dan, if anybody knows Danny Johnson, especially in my area, he's a knife maker right. Uh, keeps a razor's edge. This thing can take a beating. I'm telling you. There's something about this handle. Paracord wrap, put it in the vise, and I super pull it. I mean, I put the torque on it. That paracord. See the glaze on that? I'll not disclose what kind of glue I use because I'm not getting, it's not a paid promotion. But what I'd done was I experimented with some glue. Super glue. Not just any super glue, but super glue. And I brushed it on this paracord. And my first thought was, I'll take care of that off. When it dried, I set it out in the sun, it took it about two days. That's what I got. It's like it's rubber. Look at that. I don't know if it's a chemical makeup in the paracord or the glue. 
Put a bunch of glue on, took a brush, uh, a craft brush, and painted it. That uh, super glue into the fibers of that paracord. I love it. Get you a junk knife and try it. Get you a junker that ain't had, that don't have handles that you're not gonna put handles on. And just try it. If you don't like it, grinder fix it. Grinder take it right back off. But look at this. And there's no hot spots. Watch this. Let me show you something. No hot spots. Somebody's bound to have tried this. Because uh, you should have made wooden handles. I mean, it, it's got. Inside, when I bought this knife, he asked me what kind of handles I wanted. Do you want, do you want micarta? Do you want uh, rosewood? Do you want elk antler? What do you want? I said, I don't want none. I'm going to paracord wrap it. Hmm? And this knife has been through the mill. And steel razors shave you. The razor's sharp. It's like the one on the, the bag back there. Danny Johnson. Bad to the bone, I'm telling you. I've seen him cut nails with him. And there's no glazing on the blade when he's done. I know. I don't know if I've stumbled across something. If anybody else has done this, let me know. And if you've not done this, try it. We're going to do this. This is a beater knife. It's what that is. It's sharp. It's, it's, it's shady sharp. This is a, a beater knife. That is, that is, well, here's a spine. Uh, that's what the flint, flint shears that metal. Superheats it. I mean superheats it. And that's where you get your spark. But it doesn't hurt the knife at all. So let's get busy and let's paint this on. Stay with me just a minute. I'll show you what I'm doing. Yeah. Now, like I said, I'm not going to show you the kind of glue I'm using. Uh, I tried it out on a Pizza paracord the other day. And I said, yep, that's it. Now, I don't know if it's just the chemical makeup, what's taking place here, or, you know, the glue, or. what it is. I'm using a reflective paracord and I'm hoping yeah it'll come out I'm hoping that uh I don't it don't it doesn't lose uh being reflective of 
hope a lot of times, you know. Trying not to show you what I'm using. The simple fact is, you know, people people got their own ideas and opinions about stuff. to sit for two or three days my shorts good and dry I don't know if it's the chemical makeup like I said in the paracord or the glue itself the reason I brush it on is because I want good smooth texture and if anybody has tried this comment below that you tried it you didn't like it or you liked it or you didn't know it worked or Whatever the case may be. Now I wouldn't go buy a uh, Tom Tracker SE and do this, probably. Yeah, I probably would. I don't know. If it was prior port handles, I would. People say, no way I do that. What was kind of worrying me too was it breaking down the paracord, you know? I mean, that, that's, that's quite possible, given time, you know? But, uh, I put a knife through it and I it can't withstand what I'm doing, I don't need it. that tacking up already. And that's sharp. I gotta watch myself. That's it. What I'll do is I'll put it in a, a clamp, set it in front of the fan over there, and just let her do her thing. Make sure you got a good even coat, good glaze. And uh, hope for the best. Could have been a one-shot deal with that knife right there. I mean, I don't know. I don't have a clue. I don't know what I've run across. Like I said, you know, I just want to kind of share that. It, uh, obviously, it's going to render that power cord useless. Uh, but this is mainly for looks. For the bush crafter. Folks that uh, want that power cord wrap. I carry paracord. I carry plenty of paracord. That right there ain't going to mean nothing to me uh, to sacrifice. But uh, that's it. That's what I do. That's how I ended up with this. And I'm telling you, I'm being honest with you. This thing right here, I'm being serious. That's, that's, probably, that's probably my favorite knife. As 
for the bushcraft. If you're gonna do like uh, trigger sets and fires and explore, that'd be my go-to right there. That maybe maybe the other one, maybe. But this right here, this goes in my fire kit. Super light. And what I'll do is I'll let this dry and I'll check it in a day or so. And uh, I may be cutting it back off. I don't know. We'll find out. But I love this one. And I hope it turns out the same way. Look at the glaze on that. Look at that. It's like it's rubber. Look at that. No, there's no residue. There's no residue whatsoever coming off that knife. It's not sticky, tacky. I could rubberize it. I don't know. But we'll find out in a few days. This your boy String Beam Mount Bushcrafters Alliance. As always, go farther, stay longer. Stay with me just a minute. Like I said, you know. I don't know if I've stumbled across something. I love it. Like I said, I know it renders that paracord useless. Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. I don't know. But I stumbled across it. I'm glad I did. Glad I decided to do it because it makes that knife just absolutely just rubberized, ergonomic. Paracord gets wet, paracord is stretched all over the place. It's nasty wet. But, um, uh, we'll drop it in water and find out. Put it through the rigors. But I like it. If you've done something like this singular, let me know. Paracord wrap coated in super glue. It's like a fillet knife, you know, like a rubberized ergonomic fillet knife. That's what it feels like. No pinch points, no burns, no nothing. Go for it, stay longer. Hey, this your boy string bait. Appreciate you all. I'll catch you out there. Got work to do this morning. Thanks for watching.